Just few days after the passing of President Muhammad Buhari's Chief of Staff Abba Kiari to COVID-19 complications, the race for his replacement is already on the way. The position of the Chief of Staff of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is a very crucial one. As you may already know, many consider the late Abba Kiari Nigeria's de facto president. And when the President Muhammad Buhari's ministerial cabinet was inaugurated, he directed that all ministers tender all requests through the then Chief of Staff Abba Kiari. So he was the middleman between policymakers and the president, affording him a great monopoly of the president's time and space. This was frustrating for all who sought access to the president, as you had to seek the favors of this one man before you were granted access even for urgent matters. On many occasions, the wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, often expressed her frustrations with the power the late Abba Kiari had over her husband. She blew the whistle on the presence of Kabal in Asurok, running the affairs of the nation. You must then agree with me that this office is one too attractive for anyone with any ambition at all to pass upon lobbying for. Who wouldn't want such powers in a nation like Nigeria where the powerful are above the law and have access to juicy paychecks. But we very well know that the worthy competitors for this noble position can only come from the president's inner caucus, those who have proven to be Buhari loyalists over the years. No term Diko Hari can scoop this one up because of the sensitivity of the office fueled by the president's fear of the unknown. So in no particular other? Here's a list of likely inner caucus members that may make the cut and why. Number one, we have Mamandara, the 80 year old close family member of the president and member of the supposed Asura Kabal disclosed by Aisha Buhari. Number two, we have Suleiman Adamu, the 57 year old minister of water resources considered one of the closest ministers to the president. Number three, we have Adamu Adamu, the current Minister of Education, former Secretary of the Muhammad Buhari Transition Committee and former scriptwriter of the President. Number four, we have Issa Pantami, the 48-year-old Minister of Communications and Digital Economy and a Buhari loyalist. Amid Ali is at number five. He is the 65-year-old controller General of the Nigerian Customs Service, who is an active member of the APC and supported Buhari's presidential bid faithfully from 2003 to 2019 and acted as Buhari's chief of staff before he became president. Then we have at number 6, Kashim Shatima, the 53-year-old APC senator representing Borno Central, a close ally of the president. Finally, at number 7, we have Babagana Kengibe, 74-year-old former secretary to the government of the federation, who is said to be a major player in the president's cabinet behind the scenes. From this list, we can clearly see that the president has little or no chance of appointing a woman because of the supposed sensitivity of this office and possibly other personal and religious reservation. So we watch to see who the president decides is dependable enough to take Abakiri's place. The National Coordinator Concerned Advocates of Good Governance, CAGG, Barrister Olusha Gumbangboshe, in a statement on the 19th of April said the appointment of the Chief of Staff is like the President choosing a wife and that the President must go for someone who is tested and trusted. He also went on to add that the current serving Governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasru Erufai, and Baba Gana King Gibe, the former SGF, were not fit. The job of the Chief of Staff, especially with the state of the nation and the current global pandemic, is a delicate one, and this appointment must be considered very carefully. The selected individual must be someone who has demonstrated in the past an unbending desire to put country first, one who does not pursue after greedy gains, a person proven to be of great integrity and one knowledgeable in the ropes of affairs of our dear nation and foreign policy. This is a job that requires laser sharp focus and we hope that the president considers these qualities as he chooses his next chief of staff in the coming days. What are your thoughts on this list? And do you think the president might look beyond this man in the bid to appoint a new chief of staff? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Also, visit our website at www.rootstv.ng to get more elaborate information on this man.